The following program was recorded at ARC Advisory Group's annual World Industry Forum in Orlando, Florida. I'm pleased to welcome Director of Research for ARC, David Humphrey. We're here today with Dr. Uli Sutor of DMG, and we want to talk about CNC control in the manufacture of medical devices. Uh, Uli, if you can start and maybe tell us, first of all, thanks for being here with us today, and uh, tell us something about DMG and the machine tools that you built. Hey, hi Dave. Great to be here, and thank you for the invitation. DMG is a German machine tool company which are doing machine tools since 1894. And in, our, in my business, we are doing machines for the medical industry. So all the knees and the hips and the uh, bone plates are made with our machines worldwide. And this is uh, the business we are working together with Siemens because we are using Siemens motors, we are using Siemens controls. In the manufacture of the, these uh, medical devices, can you give us an overview of, of how they're made and what some of the requirements are? What, what is special about uh, manufacturing these devices, and the materials, and, uh, and the requirements for the controller? Sure. The materials which are used to be in the body, in the human body, are very tough to cut. So it's typical titanium or cobalt chrome or some stainless steel. So if you want to cut these materials, you have to have very good rigid machines and you have to have really good controls. The requirements are for the implants are good surface quality and accuracy. Can you imagine a knee have to be 10 years in a human body and move at least one million times? And this must be very, very accurate that the patient don't have problem with the knees. In, in your presentation at the ARC Forum here in Orlando, you talk about some of the, uh, the KPIs like uh, in, uh, improving cycle time, you talk about quality. Um, what role does the CNC play uh, in particular? What are the requirements of the actual controller in the manufacturing process? Yeah, can you imagine there are five reasons why the medical industry are really increasing in the next 10 years? That's you and me becoming the baby boomers, becoming more than 50, and we are coming in the age of the human spare parts. All people becoming older, uh, all people become more, or some even, even too much, and this all increases the risk of a human spare part. And this uh, all together um, needs to have a much more productivity for the um, companies who making these implants. And uh, increasing the productivities means decreasing the cycle times or decreasing the floor space of the machines or uh, increasing the surface quality of an implant. With a super surface quality, a super surface of this implant, you don't need to grind it by hand or to polish it by hand. So if you have a good machine with a good control, you have a so good surface quality that you can use this part right out of the machine. Now, some companies that manufacture these devices uh, make them manually. You, you, can, you can craft these things with, 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 with tools. Is there a need to automate the whole process? Yeah, look at the dental industry. Ten years ago, the dental industry was completely hand manufacturing. And now they are changing completely to the industrialization of these parts. But all these are customized, you know. Now we have the whole process chain from the CAT CAM system to the machine. Only if a, a company have this whole process chain uh, as a knowledge, they can do customized um, parts. And this would help also for the medical parts. If you are really have all the process chain with all the Siemens components in your uh, chain, you can make real good parts. Now in your presentation you talk about um, not just uh, being a Siemens customer but being a partner of Siemens. I think DMG is one of Siemens' larger customers for CNC. Can you tell us the nature of the partnership? Yes, the partnership is a, a real good partnership, you know. We are the specialists in milling and turning, and Siemens is a specialist in uh, CNC control units. And this makes the partnerships, we need some special requirements, or our customer need some special requirements from the CNC control. So something like cyclists for drilling or something like that. And we develop it together with Siemens that our customers are happy 
and and this belongs somehow to Siemens and our and our house, and we both are using this knowledge. Now Siemens is not just a supplier of uh, industrial controlled equipment. The Siemens is also involved in medical. Is there any synergy with other parts of Siemens? Yeah, that is, is my dream of the future, you know. Siemens have the Siemens healthcare company with at least 40,000 people working for it, and they have all the data of the patient. So why not using the data of the patient directly to the, to the CAD, directly to the machine, and you're getting this customized implant. They're doing it already uh, in the dental industry with scanning the teeth or scanning um, the form of the teeth, but you can also do it with an NMR or a CT. When you build your machines, is it possible to satisfy all customer requirements with a standard machine, or do different types of parts that are manufactured have certain requirements that, uh, that, that force you to make uh, 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 customized machines or customized performance requirements? Yeah, both. Uh, DMG is number one worldwide regarding milling and turning. So we are doing standardized machines for all industries, but we're doing some special options for the medical industry, like cutting with oil or like a thread drilling device for bone screws or stuff, stuff like that. So it's a standard machine, but with special options for the medical device. If you want to cut uh, ceramics, for example, you need the ultrasonic technology. Uli, thanks a lot for the conversation. It was really interesting. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for the invitation. It was an interesting meeting. We've been talking to Dr. Uli Sutor of DMG. Thanks for watching.